Good afternoon everybody, Wes Davies here. Welcome back to another video here in Jai again. And I just, passing back through Ali Shan, thought I'd spend one more night here in Jai and revisit some of my old memories because as I mentioned in the last video, I actually lived here in Jai in 2008 when I just graduated from university. I can't believe it's been that long. I lived here for one year before I moved off again. Uh, but I just had to stop this building right behind me. That is Jenan Dee Jin. So I lived in that building right there for exactly one year and that was known at the time, it probably still is, as the Faulty Towers because in the 921 earthquake in 1999, uh, this building got hit pretty hard. This is Jai. The epicenter of that earthquake was Nanto. And so apparently this building like almost crumbled to the ground. Even when I was living there in 2008, there were cracks all the way up through the walls on the stairwell. So all the foreigners liked living here because the rent was just dirt cheap. I remember we had a three bedroom apartment for about 12,000 NT, everything included. So we each paid 4,000 NT per month. That was pretty awesome back when I first moved to Taiwan. Anyway, I'm just gonna head up the mountain, uh, retrace some of my steps, some of my old favorite haunts, some of the places I used to go. Uh, it's already getting a little bit late, but we should have enough time to at least see a couple of my old favorite spots here in Jai. Probably the best part about living in that apartment there uh, is we were on something like the 14th or 15th floor and then you open your balcony and you've got this huge reservoir lake here, Ren Itan, and then in the other direction are these gorgeous mountains. Uh, yeah, we just loved living there. That was such a great year of my life. Okay, made it here to the Guan Ing statue. And we used to drive our scooters up here all the time. It's just, what, 15 minutes from uh, our old apartment building. And you can see why the view, you can see all the way down the valley into Jai City. And then you also have the beautiful statue there. And it's just a nice peaceful place to go. And then there's also a little market down there where I bought what seems to be like this region's popular fruit, which is uh, bi shi. And it's kind of like a shidze, but it's more shaped like a tomato and actually it feels quite a bit like a tomato. These fruits always kind of uh, fascinate me. Don't worry, I'm gonna clean up this after I leave. Even the skin feels a bit like a tomato. And I just love these things, they're sweet. They only show up in the summertime. Very, very rare to see these things. Okay, I'm finished peeling it now. I don't know if this is uh, specific to Jai because I don't see these elongated ones down in Kaohsiung. I just see the more uh, plump ones or the small, soft ones. Let's give it a taste. They all taste very similar, all the shidzas. The plump ones are harder, more like an apple or pear. And these ones are more like the soft variety that I like. But yeah, really, really nice fresh fruit here in Jai. So just gonna enjoy the sunset here and then head back down and we'll check out one of my favorite restaurants down in Jai City. I'm making a total mess. I will clean everything up. So just finished up our meal here at honestly probably one of the most beautiful restaurants I've ever been to. Uh, I remember when my mom came to Taiwan to visit me back in 2009. I took her here with uh, my stepdad as well and she said the same thing that she's never experienced a restaurant like this that looks so traditional and you know traditional Chinese and just the atmosphere and you just open the windows here right at your table and you can see across the way to all the other kind of little private booths that we're all in, these little tatami booths uh, right against the window so the cool air is coming right through. And the food was actually quite good. Uh, my favorite one was the beef flat noodles. It has a very Cantonese flavor. I think all the food here is Cantonese. This is a Cantonese restaurant. Uh, the beef was exceptional. And some of the other dishes were quite good as well. Some various Cantonese sort of noodle wraps. And then we had lobo gao, which is something you get here in Taiwan as breakfast, but I didn't realize that that was actually a Cantonese dish. I really enjoyed the crispy spring rolls, which I find it a little surprising you can't find those here in Taiwan, but uh, in Canada that comes with almost every Chinese food meal you'll have. And then we've got the tea, which was quite nice as well. Uh, yeah, everything was really, really nice, but I would say my favorite part is just the 
atmosphere of the restaurant itself. So if you're in Jai, I will put the address down below. It's a really nice place to come and just enjoy a relaxing meal on a night out. Yeah, so last night I meant to go to the Jai Night Market, show you guys around one of my favorite all-time night markets in Taiwan. And when I got there, it was a bit desolate. It was deserted. There used to be thousands and thousands of stalls there. You know, you could walk up and down the aisles. So many different kinds of things you could eat and try out and games you could play. And basically when I showed up, it was like basically an empty parking lot. So they let us know that it is under renovation. During this time of renovation, a lot of the stalls chose to just take a break, uh, not set up their shops. So maybe in the future sometime, the night market in Jai will be restored to its formal glory. But you know, I didn't even want to film there last night. I was a little bit depressed, to be quite honest, just because I remember it in my head as this crazy, amazing night market. And what it is right now is not that. But that's okay. Things change, people change. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna leave Jai right now, head back to Kaohsiung. I know this is a bit of a quick video, but yeah, I'm just here at the old downtown center ring of Jai. What do you call it? A roundabout. And from here, you can get down to the train station, the Wenhua Night Market, various other streets. And I picked up some chicken rice for the road, of course. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you like the Ali Shan footage and, you know, eat it, sampling the chicken rice and that beautiful, amazing restaurant we went to last night. That was really, really nice. So with that, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.